What's up guys, Fatty Mancy from Real Results Fitness and we got a special guest. Jace Will, baby. You know who it is. <laughs> if you guys have watched uh, some of the older videos, you know who it is. Um, but James is actually a, uh, he is now an online client and uh, we're gonna be going through a leg day today. So we're just gonna go through a quick leg day, some tips, some stuff you guys might wanna pick up and uh, that's it, man. Let's. Let's optimal get more training, baby. Optimal training. Let's go. With Real Results Fitness. You know what it is. <laughs> All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to be taking you through a whole leg day workout. So this is men's leg day phase one, day two. All right. So phase one, day two, men's leg day. So uh, lots of good information, lots of great tips on this. So make sure you guys watch this not just once try to watch it a few times maybe use it as a pre-workout motivation before you get into the gym or whatnot but there's lots of great information on here so uh, stick around and uh, let me know if you have any questions you can either put it in the comments or email me directly all right enjoy the video uh, the hex squat i use is different how do you unlock this one okay so this one um this one what you want to do is you want to press through here like you're gonna do a rep all right and then now, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull these up and out. Good, so there's one for you guys watching. There's one on the other side as well. And then now you just uh, begin your rep pretty much. Good, and then keep going through. I'm gonna just point out some stuff. Guys, when you're doing these, you wanna make sure that your knees and your ankles and toes are all in line. And that's gonna help you from buckling your knees in. Good. Get like two more good reps in. He didn't know we were gonna do this. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's do our warm up sets right now. So um, come on in a little bit. I want to show you a quick cue. So come on in here. And when you're picking a, a foot stance, it's gonna depend on like what you want to work. All right. So you don't want to go. I mean, you can go really far out. Wow, it's loud. You can go really far out. And that's going to work more hamstrings and glutes. I personally prefer to have a narrow stance, but it's also important that when you have a narrow stance, you want to make sure that your knees are not caving, okay? Because your knees will cave as you, uh, as you fatigue. So it's really important to, it's kind of a cue you want to do. It's like opening your hips, okay? So this is like, for example, this is what we're doing here. We're squatting, right? But if my hips aren't open, my knees are going to come in, my knees are going to cave in. And you're going to be just muscling through it. We don't want to muscle through it, we want to use our body optimally. Alright, so come on in, I'm going to put it all together. So I'm going to have my knees in line with my toes here. I'm going to be really breathing into this uh, pad. Okay, so you don't want to be arching your back. You don't want your butt coming up off the mat. A lot of times you'll see people here with the arches and they're really trying to get the most out of it. But you're gonna screw up your back that way. So we're here, you want to adjust knee, uh, feet, ankles, knees, toes. Think of like stacking your joints, all right? So we're here, breathing into this mat, and then we're just gonna squat down. Exercise two, we're gonna get into dumbbell Romanian deadlifts and then we're going to superset that with some step back lunges. So we're gonna have James start with it and then uh, we'll go from there. That separation though. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Cool, cool. Keep going. All right. So on these, I'm gonna have you do like three or four more reps, but I, what I want you to do is start by hinging back at your hips like you're trying to knock something over behind you. Very good, good, keep that chest big. You feel a difference or no? Yeah. Okay. Sickening. <laughs> One more. Good. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna get into some Romanians as well. It's really important when you're moving through your workouts to get like one to two warm up sets so you don't just jump into your working set right away. I know some people that have done that in the past. So you don't wanna just jump right into your working sets right away because you don't know if your body's warm, if you're having a bad day, if you've been sitting all day, if your hips are tight, whatever it is. And this goes on everything, not just legs. So this goes on pushing movements, overhead movements, anything like that. Always do like one to two reps so you can gauge your progress. Uh, so I'm gonna start with some 40s here. So we're gonna be here. And uh, as we were explaining, we're going to hinge back at our hips first. So look, I'm gonna show you, uh, I said you're good right there. So I'm gonna show you two ways that you could do this. All right, two ways I see this movement done. One is leading with your back, right? And that's here. All right. So you can get some glute and hamstring involvement, which is what we're trying to get on our Romanian deadlifts, but you're not gonna get it optimally, okay? So optimally, I'm gonna use that word all day. All right, so now what I want you to do is kick back and begin by hinging at your hips. So I'm gonna be here hinging at my hips first and then standing straight up, okay? Here, standing straight up. When you're standing straight up, make sure you're not arching your lower back. So it's here, not, not finishing like that. That's gonna put too much strain on your lower back. You're gonna screw your lower back up. So we're gonna be here hinging back, standing straight up, as opposed to leading with our back. So when I lead with my back, here and up, which is what a lot of people do. So I want you to avoid doing this, and I want you to start doing this. We're gonna hinge back, here, back, here, all right? So once we're doing those, check out the logo real quick. Once we're doing those, we're done doing those, we're gonna superset that into step back lunges. And the reason we do step back and not stepping forward because when we step forward, it is a good exercise, but as we fatigue, whether we want to or not, it's putting a lot of pressure. Think of how much force and how much torque of pressure you're doing every time you're stepping forward. Let's say you're on rep eight here. That's a lot of pressure on your knees, all right? It's good, good for your quads, but a lot of pressure on your knees. So instead of stepping forward, we're gonna be here, stepping back, and then you want to think of standing nice and tall, all right? So we're stepping back, nice and tall, not back and forward. Does that make sense? So we're going to be here, stepping back, nice and tall. Again, knees, like think of hips open, um, screwing your feet into the ground, spreading the floor apart. They're all the same cues. Just think of, just try each one of them. Run those in your head and see what works for you. So we're gonna be here, stepping back, standing straight up. Then we're gonna be alternating. Here, back, and straight up. You see I'm notice, if you notice, I'm out of breath when I do this, it's because I'm holding my breath in here before I descend. Because otherwise, if I don't and I just try to muscle through it, I'm gonna be really wobbly on the way up, all right? And we're just trying to muscle through it. You want to use your body as a system. Use it as one, right? So when you, once you get this breathing down, it's gonna change the game. Think of, think of like someone's about to punch you in the stomach. All right, and you're gonna just absorb that punch. So you're gonna do that before you descend. Reset and go again. As you get used to it, you're going to be able to get a couple reps before you reset, all right? That's it for this exercise. James is gonna do one more set of the Romanian deadlifts, and we're going to show you again uh, what we just spoke about as far as leading with your hips and not your back. So I'm not giving him any cues right now, I'm just gonna have him just go at it, and then uh, if we need to make some adjustments, we will. Good, very good. So uh, rest, set the weights down. So reps looked really good, reps looked really good. We're going to adjust it just a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna show you um, an adjustment that you can make that's going to change the game for you. Kind of like what we were just talking about, hinging, leading at your hips. So you're doing that, uh, but you could be doing it a little bit more, which is going to involve or help you get a lot more glute and hamstring work. All right, your back's still gonna get working because we're using our back during this. So 
What I'm gonna have him do, I'm gonna set this, we already had it here just in case. So I'm gonna have this foam roller behind him, all right? And what I want you to do, hang on to this. She's good. So um, what I'm gonna have him do is, yeah, stand like right here on the side. So pick up the weights, and I'm just gonna have you do a Romanian deadlift like you normally do, okay? Here, and just do it how you normally do. And then I'm going to have you uh, try and knock this over. It's pretty far behind me, or pretty far behind you, but I still want you to think of knocking it back. So you're gonna begin by hinging at your hips, and standing straight up, okay? So I'm gonna have you just do it how you normally do it, and then I'm gonna have you try and knock that down behind you. Cool, so don't don't uh, change it because you're on camera or anything, just do it how you do it. It's good right here? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Good. Now I want you to extend back even further with those hips. Good. It's a very slight difference. Can you feel a difference? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> very good. And it's important while he's doing this, just do one more rep. Good. Rest. And then it's also really important to not get too much of a stretch. So you don't want to do it too much to where you feel like you're gonna tear your hamstring, all right? So it's good to, here, hang on to it. It's good to be here, okay? And you wanna be controlled. You always wanna be controlled. So you don't want to, I'm not, I'm not even gonna do it with that. I'm gonna pretend this is the weights because I'm not trying to tear my hamstring on camera, okay? You don't wanna dip into it. A lot of people will be here. And they'll just dip into it. That's a surefire way of ripping your hamstring apart. So you don't wanna dip into it. Just gonna be here, nice and controlled on every rep, okay? We're not bouncing into it, all right? That's it. So, okay, let's get into those step back lunges now. With these? Uh, what do you, no. do you? No. no body weight. All right, all right. <laughs> so we're gonna do no body weight on this time. Good. Okay guys, and notice as he's doing this, that the, the pressure is on midfoot and heels and he's not stepping through on his toes. If you step through on your toes, you can get a lot of quad involvement. It's also gonna mess up your knees, all right? Keep going, good. Right, I'm gonna adjust like one thing. So step back and then pause, all right? All right, see how his knee, see how his knees kind of caving in? What I want you to do is open up your knee. Good, so now your his knee is in line with his hips and his toes, and now press up. Good, do the same thing. Very good. Awesome. All right, so James tried to get, get away with the question off camera, so I had to catch him. So um, go ahead and ask me what you were just asking right now. I was asking how, how you position your feet on the, on the uh, for the Romanians. Okay, so so with these, you're gonna be um, here. Just hang on to it. You're gonna be just about sh like I like to go just inside of shoulder width apart. Okay, so some people you'll see like have a really wide stance when they do this, and they're somewhere in between like a sumo and a regular deadlift. You just want to be about shoulder width apart, okay, or uh, in a little bit inside of shoulder width, and right there, okay. You want to think of when you're doing this, you want to think of uh, the weights tracking like in front of your laces. It's going to depend on your shoes, right? But <laughs> you want to think of the weights tracking in front, like on top of your laces. See if you could get this on the way down. So like tilt the camera down. So you want to think of the weights tracking here as opposed to, okay, let me show you. side view. Yeah. So you want the weights tracking here as opposed to here, all right so you don't want your you see this you don't want you you want your weights tracking here like above the laces not above the toes not in front of the toes all right 